All right, let's take a small test to understand when we use a present value formula and when we would use future value formula. Suppose now you have to take a loan. You have taken a loan of rupees 5 lakhs today and you need to pay over 15 years, which means that you are not going to pay just 5 lakhs. It will be 5 lakhs plus the interest. So the present value of this loan is 5 lakhs. How much you will pay will be based on this formula. So the 5 lakhs P is going to be R upon I into 1 plus I raised to N minus 1 divided by 1 plus I raised to N. So here it's a case of present value because the current value of 5 lakhs is 5 lakhs. What will be how much you have to pay to cover up for the interest that it accrues over a period of 15 years. So that is the present value. So this is definitely a case of present value. And here you have 1200 per month is investment has been made at retirement. That means today you start by paying 1200, 1200 and what will be its value at retirement age. That means this is a case of future value. So you'll use the formula here A is equal to R upon I into 1 plus I raised to N minus 1. It is the same formula as P. The only thing is P has another factor of 1 plus I raised to N in the denominator. Here we don't have that. So this will be the future value. Okay. Existing cost of machine is 3 lakhs. That is your bot. So here your you have bought a machine which is worth 3 lakhs now and the cost of that you are taking a loan and you are paying it over a period of 20,000 per month. So the installment R is going to be 20k and you need to find out what will be, how will you pay the interest. So it's a case of the current value of it is 3 lakhs so you are going to use present value equal to 3 lakh. Hence it's going to be this formula that you are going to use. So this is a present value case. Then scrap value of machine after 15 years of life is rupees 1 lakh. So here it's a case of I being negative. But again this is a future projected value. Yes if the question was asked current value is so and so then in that case it's a different story. But here you are you are telling that the future value of the machine after 15 years is 1 lakh. So this is definitely hence how much you will deposit or hence is the case of future value that is A we call it. Hmm. Then Raja wishes his wife Rani to have rupees 40 lakhs at his death and hence he starts depositing some amount on a regular basis at the end of every year. So he starts from today which should amount to 40 lakhs in the future. So that is again, this is a future value. So this is going to be amount. So to cut a long story short, if you have taken any loan which you have to repay over a period of years, we use a formula for present value for the loan. But suppose you have deposited something and you, how much amount will it accrue into after say 5 years or 10 years and you are talking about the future value. In that case we use a future value formula that is A is equal to R by I into bracket 1 plus I raised to N minus 1. So this is the basic basic or the fundamental of uh, the concept of annuity, the regular annuity that we are talking about. Right.